guys, so this is going to be a follow-up video to uh, the previous video that I just uploaded for you guys with the Korean Monster BC Rich Beast that I got on my bench here. I did run into a little bit of a roadblock, and let me show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, I got the strings pretty much going. I got all the way up to here, and this happens quite often, you know, in a lot of cases, is it needs to, uh, I'm going to have to modify this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run out and grab my drill set. I think I got drill bits. I'm pretty sure I do. If I don't, I'm just going to have to make a trip to uh, the Home Depots and uh, get myself a quick set and take care of it. It's not going to be you know much drilling out. Just basically just filing away at the inside because a 54 fit just fine on the uh, fifth string. So it's only going to take a little bit just to kind of knock this out of here and make that work. So I'm gonna do you know a bunch of brutality to uh, my tuner. So uh, I'll grab that set and then I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Ah! So we're just gonna take a look and see uh, if I got anything that's gonna be suitable to get this shit done. So I don't have to go to a Home Depot or Lowe's or anything. Cause I think, uh, of course, everything I got in here is big as fuck. God damn it. Now, I had another drill bit that. I ended up using on a job, uh, ended up busting off the tip on our uh, roto zip when we were cutting out some shit on our drywall and I remember uh, giving my cousin one of the bits out of here and it was probably the one I needed for this. But did I ever uh, anticipate that I was going to have to do this? Nope. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be just about, this should be just about perfect actually. Yeah, because all I need to do is basically file the fucker out. Golden. I don't need a lot of clearance to do this. Sweet. Now if all goes well and I don't bust this thing up or bust up my tuning peg, hopefully not. Just got to be extra careful. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright, I might have another bit of a roadblock. My buddy who borrowed my freaking drill uh, could not get this thing to come out. It will not unlock anymore. And even with my grip strength, I just can't get this fucking thing undone. So, plan B might be my other drill right here. I don't really want to use this one, but this guy is not going to come out. It's fucked. Let's try one more thing because this actually is not going to work. There's no way of making that work just because you can't. That maybe this glove. I don't these gloves and get a grip on it. That thing is just so fucking seized up in there. I've had this drill set for quite some time. It has definitely paid for itself over and over and over again, but I think this is the turning point to where it's eventually have a problem with something. This is a nasty fucking glove right here, but I might get a good grip on it. Let me see here. Holy shit, dude. I think that thing, like I said in the previous clip, it's fucked. Sucks. I don't think this thing's going anywhere. Holy shit. Get a fucking bicep pump from that. Dude, this, yeah, this thing is just. It's seen better days. I gotta figure out something else. I ended up dipping into day two. I only got so much time to do all my music and uh, instrument uh, adventures that I got going on. But nonetheless, um, what I had to do is, sadly, uh, my bit wasn't going to work on my drill. And I wasn't about to even attempt to use an impact. That's just, that's a recipe for, you know, a shit storm. I wasn't going to have that. So, yeah, I got uh, these bits. I got the adapters on them, so that'll work uh, with my new drill, which I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, these are the, so that was a 564th I just showed you, just in case I need it. And then here's the 16th ones right here. Just good to have, you know, those are the titanium uh, bits. So they should hold up pretty well. And I can use them for other shit, you know, in the future. But I got this guy right here. 
Home Depot did not have any rigid stuff, unfortunately, and that would have been nice because um, I could have got, because one of my batteries in my rigid pack that I've had for quite some time, it just doesn't work anymore. Batteries just shit now, it's gone. And obviously that drill I showed you guys, the thing is, it's only a one man operation kind of deal. Like I can only do one thing with it. And then as soon as that bit eventually wears out or snaps or what have you, the thing's just gonna be history and it's gonna, it's gonna see the trash can in the dumpster. But yeah, so um, yeah, this will get the job done for this kind of shit, and then I can I can use it for my drywall stuff. It's only seventy nine bucks, so it wasn't bad. But yeah, um, we're gonna crank into this. Stay detuned, bitches. All right, guys, let's get to zipping. Let's give this a shot and see what happens. So I got the sixteenth bit. We're gonna start with that just to open it up. Hopefully, that's all it's gonna take. It's just a little bit of that. Like so. <laughs> really don't want to have to do this, but ain't, ain't that big of a fucking deal. A little bit at a time. <clears throat> Let's see if this works. Let's just keep opening it up a little bit more. Pretty please, pretty pretty please. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Dude, that didn't take shit. Sick. So like a tight little virgin that she was, we opened her right up. We did what she was begging for. <laughs> yep, right through there, if I can get this cock smoke to zoom in or focus, whatever the shit. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, just that little bit was all it took. So like I said right here, 54 was just fine. So yeah, now I got the accommodation for the 66. Actually, it's 64. I'm actually, uh, my apologies. I had to correct uh, the previous uh, video, what I'm using, because I did find another 64. I'd rather use a 64 over a 66. I think it should be just fine. So... So I'm going to the next step. Yeah, that, that couldn't have went more perfect than that. Excellent. Can turn into like a fucking shit show like what happened with uh, my stain that soloist prep board up there when I did it all kinds of wrong. But that shit's funny. Let's pull it a little tighter. Give her what she wants. Sounds like an A sharp to me. I just gotta stretch them all out and go through that whole uh, ordeal. Just part of uh, part of setting things up and changing strings and that kind of shit. Put it right there, we're good. All right. This is probably gonna take a neck adjustment. Obviously, going from what I think was on this. Uh, let me grab this thing. So I ain't looking back and hurt my fucking neck trying to talk to you guys. No, this was. Uh, I think this had a set of eights or nines on here. These strings were extremely light. So I think it was just like nine to 42 or something like that, even maybe eight to 38. They just, they felt like just little noodles. They were nothing. But yeah, this is, uh, you know, now I got 1364 uh, on here for the uh, A sharp standard tuning. So I'm gonna go ahead with the uh, procedures of stretching these strings out, seeing where the neck's gonna line up. Basically just see what I gotta do to adjust the neck, where I gotta go from there with these heavier strings on here. Oh yeah, he's hanging up, buddy. It's like a fucking skateboard ramp right here. A BMX ramp. So I gotta go in and um, I gotta adjust that claw back here, right there. Yep, I gotta take and adjust that. And then we'll be as good as good, so um, Yep, that's the next uh, step, and I'm gonna look at everything again and go from there. Before I go ahead and do all of that, gotta make sure that these go back underneath or whatever tool you're gonna have. Just make sure that uh, that thing ain't gonna sink on you. So yeah, put your cards, your, um, your Floyd Rose tool, whatever you're gonna use to brace this up so it's nice and level with the body. 
Sorry, I had to turn, if you guys can't hear me as good, I had to turn that fan on, it's freaking hot in here. But um, yeah, so you wanna just go ahead and do this, and this will lay down nice and flat against there so it won't sink into the body, into the cavity. And then uh, make your adjustments when your strings are not under tension, so you're gonna have to detune these, give them some slack, because uh, you don't you don't wanna wear out the knife edges. I mean, granted, these are of a lot better quality uh, steel, as opposed to like your cheap like Floyd Rose Specials or some of your licensed Floyd Roses. And um, apparently you can get away with it on these higher end uh, models with better you know, steel, better uh, components, but I just don't take that chance. Never have, never will. So I will uh, go ahead and you know detune these suckers so they're nice and slack. That way they're, it's not under any tension when I'm making my adjustments. So that's about it. And then I'll catch up with you guys after I do this.